Welcome back. Back to school week continues in the 608. We're highlighting districts across the area. Hey, Wanakee is where we are focused on this morning. Josh Spryder is there hanging out. Hey there, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, live in the only Wanakee in the world. Does it get any better than this? We're live right outside Wanakee Community High School this morning where the school year has been underway here for a couple of days now. We wanted to check in, see how things are going. Superintendent Randy Gutenberg with us this morning. Randy, good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Early start. We appreciate you getting up so early for us. Absolutely. I was trying to have some kids here, but a little bit early for them. It is. So you are excited because the school year is off and running. Things are going well so far. Yeah, it's been a great start to the year. We welcome back. 4,400 kids last week. Um, we started off at our high school with just our freshmen and our middle school with just our seventh graders and then everybody else in the district last Thursday. Um, been a great start to the year. And I think this year has been a long time coming, right? This year looking a lot more normal for you guys in the district. Absolutely. Feels like it for the students and definitely our staff are feeling the same way. A lot of excitement all around as far as bringing the students back and getting back into our routines. You know, you took the summer off, obviously, but a lot of the teachers, staff, faculty, there really is no break. You're always looking ahead. No, they're all, they're, they've been very busy this summer. They've been working on different professional development. They've been in getting ready for the cl for their classrooms. So yeah, there's been a lot of excitement, a lot of work that they've put in. So definitely they've been in and about all throughout the summer. So as I mentioned, we're live outside of the high school. Talk a little bit about this stable piece right out in front of here because you see this right when you drive up. I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is a this is a, was a community project that many of our community members came together to call illuminating the path and it was really about to represent the the past, present, and future of schools in Wanakee and to commemorate education. And it was an artist, um, Michael Kalish, out of um, the Los Angeles area who worked with our students in our community to really put a, together a piece that commemorated education and pieces of our community. And it's kind of cool because you have a lot of messages along here that really uh, encompass what Wanakee's all about. Absolutely. And those were those messages came right from our students as far as things that they believed about their school. So what messages do you have for students here in the Wanakee School District and making it the best year possible. I think it's just get involved. I mean, that's probably the best advice I can get um, with any students and families is to get involved and to just um, continue to work with us. And anytime that you need assistance, make sure you reach out. Wonderful. Well, Randy, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Absolutely. If you'd like to learn more about the Wanakee Community School Districts, I also have the district calendar up on channel3000.com, guys. So pretty cool. Something to note this morning. You're not going to be able to see it, but we have an owl that is right up on top of one of the stadium lighting right across the way from us this morning that's been hooing all morning so we're hoping to get a little bit of a better glimpse of that as the sun comes up this morning but pretty cool here in the 608. It was a little off topic but my father-in-law always says how you can tell what the, that it's an owl and not another bird is that they're saying who cooks for you? <laughs> that is a little off topic isn't it? <laughs> A little Great off topic, story. don't let it slide. Great I love it. Story. My father-in-law would love that. Okay. We can move on. All right, I have uh, photojournalist Mark Schilling snap a pic, and uh, I'd like to see that. Well, All right, Josh Friders in Wanakee. Uh, let him know what inspires you, and maybe you'll be featured in an upcoming In the 608 segment.